I'm Ryan Jones. I'm a historian studying and teaching the history of the Pacific Ocean at the University of Auckland. From an early time, I understood the ocean as uh, something that we needed to care about, but, but also something that connected us to people. My grandfather, who sailed all around the Pacific in the Second World War, really grew to love the ocean. He founded the Oregon Maritime Museum in Portland, Oregon, where I grew up. And he taught me from an early time that the ocean was an important part of who we were. My research broadly is about the history of the Pacific Ocean and the way that European whalers interacted with indigenous peoples around the Tasman Sea, in particular in the, the South Island of New Zealand. We can see that in the process of hunting whales in the 19th century that whale behavior changed dramatically. And as this whale behavior changed, cross-cultural relations also changed. Secondly, I'm working on a book about the history of Russian and Soviet whaling. And it's truly one of the lowest points in humankind's uh, relationship with the oceans. The Soviets, without exaggeration, perpetrated a holocaust against the world's whales, very nearly wiping them out, killing the very last whales in the oceans by the late 20th century. And uh, it's, it's a really depressing story in a lot of ways. It's also, I think, a, a, a hopeful story in that groups of dedicated people like Greenpeace activists were able to stop uh, this whaling literally just a few years before they would have killed the last whales. History has changed a lot in the last couple of decades. The last frontier, I think, is the ocean. It's one of the hardest things uh, to tell history about. With climate change, the ocean is one of the first places that we're starting to see the kind of radical change that we can expect everywhere in the world. And it's gonna be crucial, I think, to try to understand how the ocean has changed in the past, and maybe most importantly, how humans have dealt with that change. How did they think about the ocean? Times we might have thought that Humans thought only of exploiting the ocean. Uh, when they write beautiful passages about how they were touched by the beauty of the place, and it's something that we need to remember, that humans have cared about this place for a long time. The ocean's a big place, and I think it inspires us to think big thoughts and to answer really big questions, and that's what historians can do.